Yesterday, Anthropic released their model context protocol, so this is pretty cool, right? Uh, there's a bunch of layers of how deep we can go into this. Uh, but in today's video, I'm just going to show you how we can set it up and start using it right away, uh, connecting to the Claude desktop app. So uh, if you look further down here, you can see the model context protocol is an open standard that enables developers to build secure two-way connections between their data sources and AI power tools. So uh, I have some plans for what we're going to connect now to our desktop app. But like I said, this goes very deep. So there's a bunch of stuff we can do here. But I think we're just going to start off with kind of the simplest things. Connecting, we can do Google Drive, Slack, GitHub, Brave Search. We can do our file system. So my plan is to connect the Brave Search and the file system today to our desktop app. So we can actually do a web search. We can write the summary from that web search into our system in just one prompt. I think it's going to be pretty cool to be honest. But that is just touching the top of the iceberg light because here we can dive very deep into stuff we can build with this but uh, in today's video it that is what we are going to do so i'm just going to show you how we can do this now so uh let's just start by installing the claude desktop app so if you are in the uh, model context protocol article here you can see they have a link here to the claude, claude desktop app so you can just click on this, right, and just download it. I'm on Mac OS uh, at the moment, but this should work fine for Windows too. So just go ahead, download this, and just install the app. I think you need to log in and stuff. And when you have that done, uh, I'm going to show you kind of the next step we need to do here to get this going, right? Okay, so when you have installed your app here, you can see, okay, we have our Claude app here. You can try to open it, right? So I have kind of logged in, so I'm ready to go. Uh, so I'm just going to close this now because we want to add some configurations to this. So the next thing uh, I'll just do, I'm just going to go to the terminal here on Mac. And I'm just going to open up this uh, file path here, library applications support Claude. Because we need to create a file here. And in this uh, Claude folder here, we're going to create a new file that is going to be called uh, conf a Claude desktop config.json so let me quickly do that so I'm just gonna do a touch command here and create this right good so you can see now we have kind of our Claude desktop config.json here uh, so this is empty uh, here is where we are gonna add our servers that we are gonna use for the to connect to the M, um, MCP right Okay, so now we kind of are ready to go here. Uh, we just need to find those servers. So I'm just going to head over to their GitHub and find uh, the Brave Search and um, the Brave Search, yeah. And um, what did I want to add? Uh, I think it was the file system. Okay, so here we are kind of on their GitHub, right? We can zoom in a bit here. And if you scroll down here to servers, here are some pre built uh, model context protocol servers we can use, right? So if you scroll down here, you can see we have file system, GitHub, Google Drive, Brave Search, Google Maps, Fetch. So there's a bunch of stuff we can use already. And here is, of course, it could get complicated because we can build our own servers. We are going to do this on the channel in the future. But for now, we're just going to use their featured servers. So I think we want to use file system. We want to use Brave Search. So I have created a free account here on Brave Search just to get my API key, right? Uh, so you can see I have my API key here because we need that. Uh, so we can start with the Brave Search here. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this GitHub if you want to try it out for yourself. And here you can see the command we need to use, right? So add this to your Claude desktop config.json. Great, we can do that. So let me just copy this, right? And just paste it in here. And that should be everything we need for now. Okay, so you can see I have to put in my API key here too. I'm going to do that afterwards. Before we do that, uh, I want to grab the file system here, right? So this means that we can write files to our folder, right? So you can see this is the file system protocol, model context protocol. So I'm just going to copy that too. Go to my config file. I'm going to add this too, right? Uh, here we need to set a path where we are going to write this, right? So I'm just going to set up a path here. Uh, you can do the same as me if you want to. So let me just show you the path I want to set up. 
Okay, so you can see this is the path I want here, but you can also see we have made some other changes. Uh, I kind of want to wrap this into MCP servers, right? So this is the format I have used for this. So we kind of have the Brave search and the file system uh, as our protocols, right? So I'm just going to copy this. I kind of replace the config file here with just my setup here. Uh, I can go back here so you can take a look at it. Uh, if you want this JSON setup yourself, but this should be pretty easy. Just wrap this Brave search and this file search system in this MCP servers here. Uh, okay, so the next thing I need to do is I just need to fill out my Brave API key here. And I think we should be pretty good to go then. So let me just go grab my key here and let's uh, fill that in. And then we can start testing this out, I think. Okay, so when we open up the app now, you can see, I don't know if I can zoom in, but you can see we have 11 MCP tools available. So we have Brave Local Search, Brave Web Search, uh, Create Directory, Get File Info. So basically we have a full file system toolkit plus the, plus the Brave Search kit. So this means that we have added some tools to our Claude desktop app, right? So what is pretty cool now is that we can do like a prompt and combine these tools to do some more interesting stuff, right? So let me just do a prompt here and I can show you kind of what I mean. So if we do the prompt search Brave to find information about Anthropic's MCP model context protocol, write a summary and save it to my system as mcp.info.md, right? So when we click this now, we're gonna get like a few pop-ups uh, because we need to allow this for this chat to use this. It's a bit annoying, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so you can see we are running this query here. We are searching Brave Search for this, right? We got some information here, right? The next step is gonna running write file from file system local. So we're gonna save this. Okay, we need to allow file system. Yes. And if you look at the right here now uh, in cursor, you can see this is gonna create a file here, hopefully. Uh, okay, we need this. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this is gonna write uh, to... There's a lot of accept here, but that's fine. So, okay, now it's writing to this file and hopefully this file will get saved into my MCP directory here. Yeah, there you can see it, it popped up. And we can go to cursor and we can open this and boom, you can see we have a full summary of the MCP saved directly to our file system using our MCP tool protocol, right? MC model context protocol. So I think this is pretty cool and kind of opens up a bunch of new stuff we can do. So you can see, yeah, this looks pretty good. It kind of has everything we need. It has an architecture, developer tools. And let's just for fun, let's do just a completely different search and see if we can kind of do the same. So let me just start a new chat and let me come up with a prompt here. Okay, so let's just try. I need some information about the development in the Bitcoin price in the last 24 hours. Search the web for this info and save the most important info to bitcoin.md. Uh, I suspect we need to allow this again. Again, that's pretty annoying. Uh, I don't know. But uh, we're just going to have to accept those. So yeah, this is searching the web search. Great. So it's looking at uh, December 26 we have some changes the last 24 hours yeah I guess we just have to accept all of this but it's still working pretty good now I'll save the file do we need to accept this okay so you can see we got the bitcoin.md here last updated November 26 perfect the current price is 94,000 it has dropped 4% we have some trading volume recent performance shown significantly volatility the last four, 24 hours despite the 24 hour decline maintains a strong position okay we got some information here not too bad and very easy to use when we have connected our protocol to our um, tools right so yeah pretty cool uh, let's see if we can do one more thing right uh, let's like, see if we can add a new tool and test it out and see how it works Okay, so let's try to add some GitHub access here, right? So we're just gonna click on this. So this is an NCP server for GitHub API, file operations, repository management, and more. 
So if we scroll down here, we are going to add this to our cloud desktop config.json. So I'm just going to copy this. And here you can see we need a personal access token, right? So I'm going to generate that on GitHub. Uh, but let's add this to our config file first. Okay, so it looks like this. I'm just going to grab my token, fill in that and update our config.json file. Okay, and then we need to open our desktop app again because we added some new tools, right? Uh, okay, perfect. Now we have 20 MCP tools and if you scroll down, you can see we can search for GitHub repositories, right? And we can move files on GitHub and stuff, probably push files. Uh, I think we're just going to search for a repo, right? So let me come up with a prompt here we can use now. So let's just do, can you find a cursor prompt repo on my GitHub, please? Uh, let's see if we are going to access and actually use the tools we have available now. Okay, so you can see, okay, we have to allow this. Now it's going to search for cursor prompt. And let's see if we can find my repo. I can see several repos. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. So it's going to be number one. Uh, number one, right? So let's see if we can pull this context now from our repo. So I'm going to allow. We're going to gather readme, the cursor prompts. Let's check if there's another file. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this looks perfect. So this is exactly what I wanted. So here you can kind of see we have several different prompt files. Perfect. This works great. Uh, I kind of want, let's see if we can write uh, one of these files to my MCP folder here now. So let me just do good. Can So I'm just going to go good. Can you write and save the chadcn.md? So hopefully now we're going to use the file system tools we have available and save this to my yeah folder here. Can move this a bit. Okay, so we are running the right file from file system local. Perfect. Okay, we will allow. Perfect. So now we can see we wrote this file from my GitHub through Claude desktop apps and into my file system, right? So if we go over here now, yeah. This is exactly what I have on my GitHub. So yeah, perfect. That worked pretty good if you ask me and super easy to set up. All we needed was our GitHub token. And other than that, yeah, what can I say? This is pretty cool, right? So yeah, I think that was my introduction to the model context protocol. But I promise you, we're going to do a lot more of this. We're going to try to build our own servers with kind of our own custom setup. That's going to be pretty cool, right? But uh, again, uh, the, this goes very deep and there's a bunch of stuff we can do, do with this. And I think they are opening to HSML protocol too soon because now we cannot run uh, mostly local, right? But when they open this to HTTP, that's going to be pretty interesting too. So look out for more content on MCP. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I just wanted to make this quick intro so you can start trying it out today. And as we saw, there are some powerful combinations here with the file system, with the GitHub pull, push. We can do the Brave search and there's a bunch of other things we can do here if we just look at the servers, right? Uh, so these are just the pre-built servers, but think of every server you can build for yourself, right? So I think this is a very interesting thing from Anthropic. And they kind of made it like an open protocol too, I think. A lot of people can try to add on and build servers maybe other people can use too. So very interesting. Uh, follow, like the video if you will. And I'm going to be for sure back with more content on Anthropic Cloud Model Context Protocol. So have a great day and we speak soon.